Hello everyone, thank you for joining our second time online public workshop. For today, we will focus on how to make animation in Chrome. We will divide it into two parts. The first part, we will just demonstrate the general procedure making animation, including loading the motion and then how to use the animation mode and how to capture a brief video of your catwalk show. That is the first part. The second part will focus on some advanced technique to customize your animation. So let us start it. For this garment, it is completed. But before you make it as animation, you will have some preparation. So we can have a look on this document. As preparation, you will have several things you need to check before you start to make it as animation, including first of all, go to your property editor to make sure the particle distance is in correct value. Normally, if it is a single layer garment, it can be 8 to 10 mm. Or if it is a multiple layer garment, it can be 10 to 20 mm. It depends on the situation you are encountered. Secondly, please make sure the layer value of your garment are in zero because layers is only for you to make the pattern in order at the moment. It is temporary use. And after you use it, you need to make it back to all value as zero. And the, back, um, the pattern can back to uh, original color. Thirdly, the value of adding thickness collision of your garment will be different between making animation and high-res garment. Because when you high-res the garment by the high-res garment tool, it will turn the adding thickness collision to 1. But for animation, it will be more stable if you change it to 2 to 2.5 and you can remain it to the original value, the default value or you can click low res garment if you already high res it. After the property editor, we can check with the fabric physical property because if the fabric is too stiff, it will be unstable when you do animation. Therefore, make sure the first to sixth value of your physical property details will be lower than 60, lower than 60 to ensure it had a stable animation. And you can go to the 3D window to check whether any patterns are in strengthen, freeze and deactivate. Remember, those three functions are only for you to use it as temporary and supporting your 3D modeling. After you have used it, you need to turn it off as the original form. In the meantime, make sure no pin is attached to hold your garment when doing simulation. Finally, please return the simulation mode as the default one because the fitting accuracy is only used when you do fitting. And for animation, default one will be more stable. As a remark, if you think your garment is unstable when doing simulation, you can go to the 3D toolbar and use the after tip tool, helping you to hold a part of your garment stick on your avatar when the motion is loaded. For example, you can have a look on the shoulder line. I'm going to draw a line here and use that line to attach the same line, the shoulder same line of the pattern on it and after a turn on simulation, even though a motion is loaded, it will be sticked on your after, helping you to enhance the stability when um, the, uh, the after is in a catwalk show. Meanwhile, if it is needed, you can attach accessories on the after, such as the earring. But you will find that if you load that um, OBJ file as load as trim, you cannot directly attach it on um, the after. And for this case, you can have a look on the procedure here by using another pattern and with the tag function to achieve the result attaching the accessories indirectly on your after.
Okay, after your project is well prepared, we can go to the next step, will be to add a motion on your avatar. And we can have a look here. First of all, we can go to the library and go to um, the avatar. And because this avatar comes from the folder of female version 2, therefore we need to uh, click back into female version 2 and find the subfolder of motion. motion. Within the motion folder, you have several defaults motion for you to uh, load it on the, um, the provided avatar and you can just double click and load one of the motion. And after you double click it, you will have already load this motion on your avatar with the avatar is placed at the side of the 3D window, which means it is ready to work. In the meantime, you can load a stage inside your current file as the backdrop for the catwalk show. After you load it, you can see your after is behind the backdrop and ready for the catwalk show. After it is loaded, you can customize it, for example, the color or the texture, etc. How can you do that? Is you can go back to your 3D window, select one of the backdrop. After you select it, you can go to the property editor and see what the image is attached in the column of texture. That image is the surface of your backdrop. By revising that image, maybe in other software like Photoshop, and then you can get a revised, customized backdrop. In the meantime, you can also select one of the logo around the um, stage, like the Clo logo at the side, and then select the property of it, like you can change it as another logo, or you can just um, set the opacity to zero to make it transparent. Okay, after the backdrop is also ready, you can really switch to animation mode, the animation mode, and start to rank out your catwalk show by just clicking the record icon because if you cl click another thing like um, the simulation icon you will get error when you recording the animation so just make sure after you switch it to animation mode the first thing you do is to just click that animation icon when the record function is turned it on which means your video is start generating. And you can have a look on your model itself. It is walking slowly from the backdrop. And after a few seconds or few minutes, you got the results as following. Okay, your video is completed. And you can have a look here. First of all, you can click those button to refill your video. In the meantime, you will see your arrow at the bottom is running, which means where you are watching. And under your um, animation mode, you can have a look here. We have two video clips, the garment and the transition. Normally, we will not do any adjustment on the two column, but just to let you know, we have that two video clip constructing your catwalk show. And more details are shown on the top of that two video clip, including the type of your video as real time or not. And the current time show which scene you are stopping of your video when you are previewing. And the end time shows the total length of your video itself. Lastly, you will have an option of scenes time well, which means to the speed of your video. For example, the default value will be 1, which means that is a normal speed. But if you change the value to 2, your video will be much slower. And then your video will be in double time. The length will be longer. You can change the display unit for details. As a remark, if you would like to make a draft before finalization of your animation, you can go to simulation quality and change it to normal defaults. 
it is used it for drafting. After you drafting, of course, you need to go back to custom as the finalization. Okay, after your video is recorded, of course, we can use random mode to render it out, but it will be discussed in the next session. And for this session, we will just focus on few more reminder. For the first reminder is how you can change it back to the original post or to the original ground uh, assets. It's really simple. It's you just need to go back to the original simulation mode and right click your avatar and move it back to the original assets. As another reminder would be you like to change it back to some other pose. It's also really simple. After you um, put it back to the center of your ground, you just need to go back to its corresponding folder of after and click pose. Inside there's a folder of pose, you can um, double click one of your preference and load it. And the pose will be changed. And the animation motion will be deleted deleted. If you would like to add a new motion, of course you need to click in motion and select it again. And there are the two reminders for you for making animation. And that is the end of the first session of today's um, public workshop. For the second session, we'll focus on the customized animation techniques and how to do rendering. And see you soon.